Welcome to Graham. We are asked to solve this problem. The rectangle shown below consists of six squares, the white square having two inch sides. Can you calculate the area of the rectangle? But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we label the blue square with side as x and this yellow square as x minus 2 because of their difference of 2 because of this white square and for the green square we need to subtract further another 2 so we have x minus 4 and this should be x minus 4 since it is a square and for the lavender square we have to subtract further 2 so that would be x minus 4 minus 2 that would be x minus 6 and this is also a lavender square having the same dimension x minus 6 and this would be x minus 6 and this is x and for this dimension the yellow we have here x minus 2 okay so next thing that we have to do is we need to equate the two sides the upper length and the lower length so we have for the lower length we have x minus 6 plus x minus 6 plus x minus 4 is equal to x plus x minus 2 then simplifying we have 3x minus 16 is equal to 2x minus 2 then if we simplify further we just need to put the 2x to the left so we have 3x minus 2x is equal to we need to put this negative 16 to the right then we have 16 minus 2 then we have 3x minus 2x is x and we have 16 minus 2 is equal to 14 so x is equal to 14 okay so next thing that we have to do is we need to use the value of 14 and put it in a equation an equation that mentions the area of this rectangle so area is equal to the length of this rectangle times the width the length is actually x plus x minus 2 times x plus x minus 6 then we have area is equal to 14 plus 14 this is 14 plus 14 minus 2 times 14 plus 14 minus 6 and this will be 28 minus 2 would be 26 times 28 minus 6 it would be 22 so 26 times 22 is 500 72 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye